Hello everybody, welcome back to Pete's Classic Cycle and today I've got a very important tech tip for all of you guys. Um, this is something I've gone over several times before throughout my videos but I always kind of like to repeat this message because if you're new to triples or haven't worked on one in a long time, it's got the potential to save you motor. Um, so what I'm talking about here is checking your lower cases for oil. Um, so basically what happens is Although this is a very reliable injection system, these check valves here do have the potential to fail. And when that happens, the oil tank gravity feeds through the pump, through the lines, through the valve, and fills up your lower cases with oil. So then you go to start your bike, and now you've got a hydrolock situation where you can bend connecting rods, puncture holes through cases, etc., etc. Basically, you basically blow up your motor, and this is something very, very easy to avoid. So my general rule of thumb is anytime I get a new bike, or a bike has sat for any period of time, I mean even a couple months, this is always something I like to check. Because if those valves go, it doesn't take long to fill up the lower cases. So a bit of background history, this is a 1971 H1 all original bike, one owner, 18,000 miles, but it sat for 36 years. So I go to pick it up last night and actually, and the guy is bragging about how much compression it has. Now, if you've ever kicked one of these over, you know it really doesn't take a lot of effort to kickstart these things. So I get on the bike, I just kick it over to cycle through, not to start it, just to cycle the engine over, and sure enough, yeah, he was right. The motor was really, really tight. Almost too tight. I mean, you wanted to kick it and it was like a chug, 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 chug. Like really, really stiff. Um, so right away, alarm bells started ringing in my head because I've run into this issue before. So I go through my routine checks that I always do on these bikes. Um, I pull the carbs off, I pull the intake manifolds off, I shove a dipstick down. Actually, I didn't even have to shove a dipstick down. This motor was so bad. Um, that it was actually pooling in the intake port. There was so much oil in this motor that it was almost flowing back into the carburetor. That's, that's how bad it was. Um, but again, that's 36 years of drip, drip, drip through the check valves. Um, so there are two ways that I like to use to extract this oil. Method number one, you can use a large syringe available at a hardware store or a pharmacy, uh, attach a piece of small diameter fuel line to it, shove it down into the port, into the bottom, and extract the oil that way. If you don't have access to a syringe, because sometimes it can be tricky to find, this is the next best method that I've found. Simple spray nozzle, like from a Windex bottle or anything you've got kicking around the house. These work exceptionally well uh, for several reasons. A, this hose is long enough to get to the bottom of the motor. B, this hose is narrow enough to get between the crank where the connecting rod sits. And C, this rod is stiff enough where it's not gonna bind up on the bearings or the crankshaft making you think you're at the bottom when you're not. And what I mean by that is if you're using a, a very soft piece of fuel line on the end of your syringe, Basically, as you're feeding this down, it can hit the top of the cylinder, or sorry, top of the crankshaft, start binding up, making you think you're at the bottom, but you're not. So basically, you're not extracting any oil at all. Um, so these, these actually work really, really well. They're a little bit more time consuming because you gotta manually pump this thing, but they work really well, and I'll show you in a moment. So again, I've got the piston all the way up, the top dead center, I lower it, just a hair to create the amount of extra space required. Um, you can see the position of the piston there. So I'm just gonna come at a downward angle and you can feel it. So right away, I'm hitting the top of the, the crankshaft. So you just kind of work it around and just poke gentle. There I am going down in the middle and there I'm bottomed out. At this point, you'll use a catch can, but you just start pumping. Um, and it's, it's easy as that. Now, I've already extracted the oil from this cylinder, and if you look here, I've got about 
14 ounces or 425 milliliters of oil. And that's just out of that one cylinder alone. Um, so obviously that 100% would have hydrolocked my motor and that is definitely what was making it feel as if it had high compression when it was just chugging oil through the transfer ports. So again guys, I hope this tip helps. It will definitely save you a lot of heartache. Hopefully you don't have any oil in your motor, but again, this is a fairly common issue that could happen on these bikes. Not always, but it could. So again, I always highly recommend you check this, even if your bike's just sat over winter. Hopefully it helps. It's Again, it's a very, very simple check, and if it saves you an engine rebuild, it is well worth the time. So take care, guys. Hope this helped, and as always, please ride safe.